just sauteing up some veggies. I'm too hungry and too tired to wait for tofu to cook, so veggies for dinner it is. And dinner is served. Decided to slice up some tomatoes to have on the side. Let's eat. So what had happened was, I was still hungry than a mofo after just eating those vegetables, so I made some potato wedges. Sweet and sour tofu. Yeah, just tofu. I, honey, I had enough vegetables yesterday, okay. Soaking chickpeas for later on. I'm gonna make some homemade falafel and homemade hummus. And then I'll take the other half and put them in the oven and roast them up into crunchy little snacks. Something similar to like corn nuts. Chickpeas have been seasoned and now they're ready to go in a 400 degree oven until they're nice and crispy and crunchy. These are the seasonings that I used. I coated them in some extra virgin olive oil so the seasonings can stick. Everything but the bagel sesame seasoning, nutritional yeast, black pepper, chili powder, paprika, cumin, liquid smoke, and liquid amino. Oh yeah, and here are the chickpeas, the final results for the chickpeas that I roasted in the oven. Nice and crunchy. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Homemade falafel time, heating up the extra virgin olive oil. Here's the mix. I even milled up my own oat flour. Original recipe really calls for breadcrumbs, but I didn't want to use breadcrumbs. So I just milled up my own oat flour in the Nutribullet. These are the seasonings I'm using. Black pepper, parsley, onion powder, garlic powder. This everything bagel seasoning because it is everything. Chili powder, paprika, and cumin. Oh yeah. Sizzle baby sizzle. Oh yeah, homemade hummus baby. You can do a lot with one bag of chickpeas. <laughs> so, I'm gonna attempt to make fridge oats again. Last time I tried to make it, I didn't have any cashew milk, so I used water, and I didn't have the right type of sweetener, and it was a damn disaster. <laughs> so, now that I have all the products that I need, I'm gonna try again. Stay tuned. Everything is mixed together and in the mason jar. Now I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator until this evening sometime. We shall see. So this is my sweetener of choice. I've always just liked coconut nectar and I was told that liquid sweeteners work better in overnight fridge oats. So when you use like the granulated sweeteners, they don't dissolve properly and then it gives your oats crunchiness. Ugh. Overnight fridge oats were a success this time. So good. So now that I'm officially sick of eating hummus and falafel, been eating that since Sunday. I'm moving on to peanut butter and coconut nectar on pita bread because I got a ton of pita bread left over. Homemade sorbet, peaches, strawberries, blueberries, and mango in my heart-shaped bowl makes it all better. Thank you. 